Hi back again. We go on with our truck. Last time we did the profile. Today we make the tire itself. And look from the side. There. And this are special tires. here a little, there a little, and then it's straight more. So that means we take at curve a circle, rotate x 90 degrees, scale down, we take curve ring and we must have the render sequence on two or three uh, smooth can be there good I must find the Size. Ah, okay. But where is the rest of that? Good. We try another one. We add mesh tools. That can be enough. So we rotate x ninety degrees. Rotate X 90 degrees. So we scale them down and we see that must be much bigger there. So we take the inner ring, get the proportional editing on, and simply scale but roll the middle mouse wheel to get the in fluid more so that can be it then we go here to grabbing and we see we have that here so uh, we need only the half of them so we go number three with background selection Word selection, B box selection, X delete words. That is the half of them. Here comes the in tire. We can get here a little bit out, but disable proportional before. So such like that. Then here extrude and bring them there then we have the tire there so what we must have we want to use a mirror so we need here our um, origin so shift s uh, cursor to active cursor to selected and we can go in the object mode and we see that is here and now we can shift as say the that should go to the cursor selection to cursor selection to cursor oh that was wrong so shift as Cursor to active, cursor to selected. Now it must be two 3D cursor. 
So we try again. Object set origin to 3D cursor. Yeah, now we have here that one in the middle. Then we take here the modifier, um, mirror modifier in the set axis. Then we can say object shade smooth. Then we have that. That is our wheel in rough style. Um, also, we can make here a modifier subdivision surface. Level 1 was enough to round it up here a little bit better. Good, we have done that. Grab that there. File. Save. Uh, yesterday, I looked in the internet. For some new shaders. For tires. That will make that next. But before, I want to change some. Um, that here isn't loop able completely. And that means we have to take here the front face and uh, must delete them. So X, delete only faces. Now it is open. We can delete the back side too, but we don't need. So we can take here this ring here, the loop, and then F3 and search for um, fill grid, grid fill, and then you see he makes that is completely loopable. That is important because we want to bend that all and that needs that. So front face only faces delete, then get here the edges F3 grid fill done. Good. As I seen, they are not at the same position. So top view numpad seven, and then we take all to one position. That is in this case this line. So I go here and select them all. So we get box selection it there and bring it till this line there and here again box selection would be and bring it there so it is now on line good file save now I want to bend it around the tire there So to do that, I must reach the original size. So I scale it up here a little, like that. And then I should make them on this part. Good, for that we need here a um, curve. So add curve circle. That's here. Rotate x 90 degrees. Scale down. And it should be the outer ring size. Search like that. Good. We print that more in front here. That we see some. Then we make a copy of that profile. Shift D. Then we rotate that to rotate set 90 degrees and wrote that set 180 degrees. So we have the right position for that. And we print that to the circle. There is it. 
and now it should bend it along this way. So for that, um, I apply the subdivision surface, but at a level one, it's enough, I think. Okay. Then I get here an array modifier, and I must object apply rotation scale before. So now it is the right axis. So give here zero and at the set one. So it comes over them. And I counted them that are twenty four. So twenty four of them. We have a long part there. The only thing we want to change is we need here the middle as before. So that will be a good point, a middle point. So shift S, 3D cursor to select it. Now here is the 3D cursor. We go tap out of the edit mode, in the object mode. And then we say object set origin to 3D cursor. So the 3D cursor is here. And we can set them to the um yeah, to the circle there. Our curve, better to say. So here we have it. Now this must follow the curve. So we go to them and say here at modifier, curve modifier, we need the name of that. We click there and then normally PC or circle 001 is the name. So we go to that and say here object pipette and click there and then it tries to bend that around but in the wrong axis. So we see what we can do here. That is the wrong direction. That can be the right direction, but we must look. That here is it. It's minus y. And then we can uh, scale them simply, or scale that here. That are the options we have for that. And we can move the um, the profile. So when I move the profile, you see it comes near to, and we need it as near as the wheel is. So we simply bring it to size that fits there. And then we have it done. Shift D, make a copy of that. And there I apply the ray modifier and the curve modifier. So I have only that left. And that I put now on the tire itself. So object set origin to geometry. Now we have the cursor there. And we can put that on the tire there. Don't wonder. It isn't optimized at the moment, so we must find out the position for that, that it looks good, and then make the rest smaller. So I need more space, and I need a new collection. So I make a collection new, and give it a name collection one I call it tire then I get this one plus the curve and press M to move and then click here to collection tire it is now in the collection tire and that I don't want to see so I make here the eye out of so here that all we can also move there so mark it M to move collection tire and that on to collection tire. 
so we only see that what we have here and I think we disable that here top view and we see it can be a little bit more outside so that means we must scale that here in Y switch like that and now we should have here a good tire it is a good tire but it is a little bit too much I think so we scale up here this tire a little so such like that now we have here perfect tire wheel file save we can now apply here the mirror modifier there and the subdivision surface we take here merge apply and apply the subdivision so we have no bows and can say join that together now it is one wheel then we say object apply the rotation scale because we changed that file save that is our tire now rotate set 180 degrees to change the direction good that is original what we see there and I looked in the internet as I said um, for a tire shader and when you type that in Google tire shader you will get some there and I've seen some that was that one here tire notes and here you see that is uh, made by um, color ramp and uh, an image so that is one option you can make that with two uh, diffuse or glossy and diffuse and then by layer white changing and with pointiness you can make that with the dirt there too so we try to make such like that too so we start we need two color rams we color add Okay, we will see. Good. Then we go here to material, give you a new one, call it tire. Then we go here to shading. And here we have the first step. We take the base color in a gray. then we take another one shift D we make their dark gray then we need a mixer for mix that both so add a shader a mix shader we have it there and we get them both on then we need a factor for mixing there we can take this um, ambient we can take layer white we can take um, in this case I take here the layer white and I made it by facing as a factor so we see now it is darker there and at the top it's lightened and you can control that here by change that there we need a um, color ramp between so we can handle that add that is converter I think color ramp yeah add converter color ramp place it between now I can handle how strong is this effect. So 
so when I go here darker and here lighter you see now I can control that here how is the facing there good that is the one option we have the second option that we have is um, pointiness or ambient occlusion so we try ambient ambient as a factor and then we have this um, yeah, this part um, you can change here the color distance and the mix factor when you want a gray that should be mixed within you go here the darker or lighter then you can make here the distance uh, for that effect and the samples that are the options you have for that and that brings then the same effect or like the layer white facing or such good we take here real the facing but that isn't enough we need here more structure from the color there and that means we must mix that with an with an internal image and that is texture and it is a noise texture that should be the factor for mixing this both again so we take it a mix here again and give here the noise factor there factor there and you see we get here now some dirt look but I want to have it there with a much darker one and this effect is not strong enough So we go here from scale to 1, that is nothing, then we go to 10, uh -huh, that is more, but it is too strong there, so we try here details to 1, that's a little bit better, we try a higher scale, 20, that is too much or we try it with the absolute value 200 but then looks more like rubbish or soup we must find our way what we find good and the difference should be not as high so we make that here darker then we come near to the other one that needs a high roughness because it's tire with the rubber and rubber needs high roughness then we need here um, some bump effect or a normal map or such to get here better lighting on and that means we go to a folder by me it's called uh, commercial textures and there I have normal maps you can simply type in the Google normal maps and then you get all this stuff there and there uh, you can get them normal maps and we search for some that looks like rubber so must look which one is the best for that that is not rubber that can be one that is also good 
thing that we can take. So we take that, copy, we go to our folder on Blender 12 track and they are making folder called texture and there I plug in all textures that I use there so I place them there and then we have that normal there so we go back file save and I want to use that now at our principal shader so to do that we add texture an image texture open up in our texture folder the normal map and say it is non-color data then we need here add um, vector normal map there we place the color from the gpeg in that color and the normal in this normal so we see now the effect there but the scale isn't right and uh, we have no unwrap for that in the moment so we have to do that we go in the edit mode A to select all U for unwrap smart UV projection OK takes them a while because it's much there so we have that um, now we won't change the size of that so we need a mapping first we need an input the texture coordinates then we need a mapping itself so converter ah, vector mapping then we connect the UV that we made with the mapping we want to map texture we want the vectors to our image so that is normal and now I can change here with the scale of the mapping this effect strength so when we go here make 10 and here 10 you will see it is very very tiny so we try here 4 here 4 that is too big so we try here point 0.5 here point 0.5 it can be smaller so we take here point 0.1 and here also point 0.1 that can be good when the light is right then we will see that has a good effect there uh, but I go to 200 so that is a little bit more effect there then we have here the strength we give here the UV map in the normal map and with the strength I can handle that effect too how strong I will have that and normally say 400 is okay that you see them but not much but in this case I take here more 600 for me is ok so the only thing that don't fit is I think that it's too much here from the uh, from the noise texture that is too much we try here distortion too no that makes it much bad as that more so point one no good we have to scale that to one or three mm. I'm not 
really I don't find it good so let's try some other stuff but before I do that I will play a little with this facing there Well, we have the best result there. That should be seeable there. Yeah, the only thing is that one color that is nothing. We better use their uh, texture of uh, some rubber. Good, that means we need uh, other images. So Shift D, image texture, and we don't take here now the alpha, we take a uh, gummy material. So I look at my folder again, what I have there for gummy. Mm. So there are some. That here is a good one, I think. Yes. That one is also good. You can type in Google simply that uh, you will find some. That can be a good one here. So I think I take that one, copy, bring it into the folder we made, the texture folder, plug it in there, and use that as our um, image. So open up, take here the image and plug it into base color. Then we have automatically this type there. I tried that in the roughness too. You see what happens. <laughs> it makes it a little bit glossier, I think. So I will try here and invert. So I must look color inward and place that between. So we have that. That is better, but the size don't fit. And um, yeah, so because of that, I have to give you a new mapping, Shift D and connect that with our image there and the UV also and now I can handle here this um, size again so we try point one, point one. With a smaller effect but it is too glossy. So this roughness style here we cut off. Good, that is better. But for me it is too glossy, but we look in the real render. That is how that looks in a moment we can make it a little bit bigger here from this texture then it's better seeable here yeah makes it much better good i will say for the first that is okay 
uh, normally I would use that here in the other one too that is the other color there and shift D make you the mapping and the texture again connect the UV with the mapping and the vector with the texture and the color with the second principal shader picks color but now we need a different between them so that means we must change the color here so that means add color uh, mix RGB and now we can say how the mixing should be and with with color how strong should be that effect be on it so we have that in the base color we have the 50 50 factor i want a little bit more at the one and we make here mix or simple add the add multiply multiply is better I think we can try here white and 50 it is better good done the two Save. Um, we we'll need here light source. So we look where is our sun or sunlight, and I think light. Here's the light, but we want to see what is this light so we go here and we'll see it's a point light point light is bad because we are outside so we need the sun there mm, the color of the sun is a little bit yellow only a little and we need a strange of the sun and the sun is strange so four is minimum for such then the sun don't shine straight so we rotate them that it goes down normally okay so we have that that is the tire again good looks good the only thing I want to do is make this outdoor part a little bit more into but then it's a good result good so edit mode we we'll tap Then I take here with L. The outer stuff there. Uh, that I don't like at this uh, 2.8 version of Blender. It's all a little bit yeah, tricky, I don't know how to say such. Good. But we scale that now, simply. Not too much. Only a little. And then that looks better. But we can also rotate them a little that he follows more 
the style of the wheel there so I will try that I give them here individual origins when I find them individual origins where is this oh we must go to modeling then take that Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. Wow. Good. Now when I look from the side on pet three, I can rotate them a little. sense for me the same we have to do with the other side too so put L select again <sighs> this parts there But okay, we scale that and we rotate them also. So rotate the other direction that it follows the down line and scale them again. So we have that. has must be smaller yeah good that is the tire now looks good but not completely because that um, little pops here I don't see able and normally we should take here this image as the uh, bump that will be better so we go shading and try our um, texture as a displacement now we have a real strong effect and for that we need their math node to bring that in balance so at converter math between the image and the displacement we can give here now and multiply and go here down to value of 003 do it a little bit more that is a good one can be a little bit more thing and it can be a little bit smaller maybe don't know it exactly ah, this zoom is fucking stuff uh, really so I must have here another scale so I think we make them to 300 makes them smaller such like that so we have that we go here to live render I will see that is too heavy so that is what I mean we need the zero zero three I'm sure
So we go here, point zero zero three, and then it should be much better. Yeah, we have your light effect. Not too much, not too less. It is good. can try here only an add. That makes it a little bit harder. Much harder <laughs> in this case. Too hard maybe. So we go back to multiply and give the a little bit more I think. Nine. Yeah, the nine is good. So we see it here overall. That's better. Good. The tire is done. Was long enough. <laughs> File save. So, that was for today. And we'll see us then in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot. Bye.